Hey guys, my name is Jamin. This is my YouTube channel, PC Monkey, where I try to bring you a wide variety of do it yourself computer upgrade and repair videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to physically repair a key on your laptop keyboard. Whether your key has come off of the keyboard entirely, it's just loose, or maybe it's just not pressing down and popping up correctly, I'll show you how to disassemble it, take it off safely without breaking any of the components, and then how to put it back on safely, uh, again, without breaking any of the components. If your key feels fine, guys, if there's nothing mechanically wrong with it, it's going down, it's popping up correctly, it's not loose. If there's nothing physically wrong with it, but your key's just not registering correctly on the computer, that's most likely a different fix. Most likely simply replacing or reattaching your key won't help. There'll be a video link up here for how to troubleshoot a key not working, but that is physically fine. Two quick things before we get started, guys. First, please remember to like, share, subscribe if you enjoy computer DIY. If I do help you out and you want to support the channel a little further, a super thanks is always appreciated. Second quick and last thing, a shout out to my sponsor, NiceHash. NiceHash is the world's largest hash power marketplace. What that means for you is you can now rent out your computer's unused and idle power online to people who mine cryptocurrencies and they pay you for that in Bitcoin. Great way to earn some money on the side, great way to start investigating the world of crypto. There'll be a video link up here to learn more, or I'll get in more into them at the end of the video. So now let's get into the project. Again, first, I'm going to show you how to take a key up safely, then I'll show you how to put it down safely. All you pretty much need is a small flathead screwdriver for this operation. You don't really need anything else. All right, zoom in there. All right. Oh, it looks like it's in the middle. All right. So what you want to do here to replace this key, uh, you want to get your flathead screwdriver underneath this key cap, which is the top part, but underneath, uh, you want to get it on top of the retainer clip, uh, that's under this holding it down. Uh, so I'll do it real quick and then I'll show you what I'm talking about once I get in there. Um, so peel that up a little bit, get the flathead under there. Okay, so that came off relatively easily. I'll put that off to the side. As you can see here, my screwdriver is holding down the retainer clip, this white portion. Sometimes they're also black. Uh, this is the retainer clip that holds that down, uh, and it's very thin plastic. Oftentimes, if you peel that top part off without holding this down, you'll break it. Uh, so it's made up of two parts that are interconnected to each other. Uh, that allows for that, that accordion motion as it comes up. You also have this rubber bouncy component in the middle that's held on by glue. Be very careful not to rip that up. They're very hard to get back down after. So in order to take this off, uh, they're generally laid out in the same way. You have two metal pins toward the bottom corners, two metal pins toward the top corners. We're going to look for the metal pins closest to the edge, which in this case is the top. Um, so I'm going to take my fingernail, I'm going to push up as much as I can to get some wiggle room. And then with my flathead, I'm going to slowly and gently try to pry out from under the metal. Uh, I'm going to try to pry this plastic part out from under it. So turn this around real quick so you can see what I'm doing. Here it goes. Try not to break it. Other side. All right, okay, I didn't break it, nice. All right, so put this over here. I'll put it down here and get a general look of it right there. So that's the retainer clip. This is these two holes near that corner and this hole near this corner. That's what was underneath the metal pin. So as you can see, very, very thin, very, very easily breakable. If you do break it in this process, that's probably where you'll do it. Uh, so that's how you would get it up safely. Now, in order to put it back down, move this back here. In order to get it back down, we're going to go in, re in reverse. Instead of taking the bottom off first, like, or I'm sorry, instead of taking the top off first, like we did, I'm going to put the bottom back in first. So put that bottom part back in there. So I'm going to get the bottom in first, get it wedged in there underneath its metal clips. And then when that's pretty well centered, I'm just going to push in on the top corners and those should just snap in place. Just like that. And then when you bring your key over, place it on there, get it pretty much centered again and just press. Oop, do I have it upside down? Yes, I do. 
It's an O, upside down. There you go. And that's how you would repair that key. Couple quick FYIs on things you may face with this repair. First of all, if you rip up or damage your rubber spring, that's that component underneath that pushes the key back up after it's been pressed. Those are not meant to be removed and reinstalled. Uh, they're held down by glue. So the only way to fix those is kind of to get some glue, put a little bit on there, try to get it back. Uh, but there really is no perfect way to fix that. If you can't fix it with just a little glue, you may be looking at needing a, a new keyboard at, at that point. The other thing, guys, is the hinge clip or the retainer clip in between your key cap and the rubber spring. That's a two-part clip. If it comes apart in two, you didn't necessarily break your key, that can be put back together. I'll try to zoom in now and show you how to do that. Okay, guys, so there's your hinge clip or your retainer clip. It's a two-part clip. So if it comes apart, I'll show you how you can get it back together. So as you can see here, this is the inner clip. There's the outer clip. And on either side of the inner clip, you have these plastic pins and they go into corresponding plastic holes on either side here. So you can get this back in there. Hard part is making sure that they're lined up correctly, that this isn't upside down. But you can put that piece back in here. You may have to hold one end and gently pull out the other end in order to make room. Uh, but again, very breakable components, but you can put them back together. That's how you would deal with a key removal and a key reinstall. Again, guys, as a reminder, if your key is physically fine and it's working physically correctly, but the keystroke is just not entering on the computer right, there'll be a video link below in the description on how to troubleshoot that situation. As always, any comments, any questions, check out the FAQs in the description first. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you don't see it there and you need to leave me a comment, I do try to address those a couple times a day at least. Now, as promised, a little more information on my sponsor, NiceHash. All right, guys, so again, I told you before, NiceHash, they're the world's largest hash power marketplace. Uh, what that means, again, is you can rent out your computer's idle, unused power online to people mining cryptocurrencies and they pay you for that in Bitcoin. It's a great way to make some side money. It's a great way to investigate the world of crypto with no investment that you're risking losing. Uh, you already own the computer and most of us own computers far more powerful than anything we need day to day. So it's a great idea to do with your idle power just sitting there. Again, you can check out this link, uh, leave me a question or comment and I look forward to seeing you guys on my next video.